In this video I'm going to show you how you can give your pictures a certain cinematic look and to do it you need to go through three steps HSL, split toning and color calibration. Now I'm going to jump on Lightroom and uh, edit some photos to try to exemplify what I'm saying. First I'll try to recreate the look of this shot from Ed Esther in this picture. On the HSL tab I only want to keep the green and up. The rest of the colors can be removed since they are not present on the shot. On split toning, I am going to add a warm color to the highlight, but just a bit, and somewhere between the green and the aqua in the shadows. On the calibration tool, you can make a global adjustment to the primary colors. So it's a great way to give your photo the vibe you want. In this case, the red is a bit irrelevant since there is none on this picture, but I'm going to play with it anyway. And this is the final look. Using the same picture, now I'm going to try to match the color scheme of this shot from Joker. The main difference to the previous shot is that now I need to bring uh, the yellow and the orange to the photo. With split toning I'm going to add more orange to the eyelids. I'm also going to do some adjustments on the calibration tool. And of course now it's important to, to play with the red slider. And again I'm going to add some orange. This is a final look. Let's go to the third example using another shot from Joker. In this case I'm going to start by adjusting the white balance because this photo needs a more um, colder look. By the way, on every photo I've done some small adjustments before, okay? With exposure, I like the shadows, but I'm not showing it since they are pretty basic and are not the focus of this video. In this example, we need to bring to the photo the aqua and blue and also some oranges and browns. Looking at the shot, we need to add some green or aqua to the highlights and a more colder color to the shadows, uh, like purple or uh, dark blue. Again, I'm going to do some final adjustments in the calibration tool. I'm going to add purple in the shadows and it's also important to put the red slider towards the orange and the blue towards the aqua. Here is the final result. The last example is this great shot from Blade Runner, but the one from 2017. It's a bit tricky to find a picture where this style fits, but I'm going to try it anyway. Basically, I'm going to add a lot of orange and yellow to the photo.
I'm going to start with the white balance. We need more uh, warmer tones. And just this makes the huge difference. I'm going to remove from the picture every color besides yellow and orange. Again, I'm going to add orange, in this case uh, using split toning. Lastly, I'm going to use the calibration tool and I feel that the photo needs some yellow. This is the final result. I'm going to add a summary with all the steps you need to do at the end of the video and uh, I hope you like it. Bye!